Do you like sculptures? I bet if you like, I bet if you like sculptures, you would love these ones. They they are created by by the company. It's a member of the uh, Guild of Erotic Artists. Uh, it's uh, fine arts exclusive, and uh, on the development of the the uh, Planet Pinna project and the history of pinups, the book. I, I just w was on the way to Frankfurt and uh, t took a look at uh, fine arts at the and visited Götz, the, the, the guy who is creating, who is the owner of this company and we were talking about how to get a pin-up sculpture. This is our bondage master, he is only capable to do this nice bondage weaving and not everybody can do this, he is really a master of bondage and he does this perfect bondage string. Yeah, I'm here. I am I, not just here to uh, uh, just to show you this. Uh, this is also a very nice. Oh, I like this. This is a very nice uh, uh, sculpture. This one here. And we have for the for the pinna project. There's there's nothing on sculptures in, in heavyweight uh, bronze material in the in the in the in the pinna universe yet. And we had this idea. And when we when we worked on on the Planet Pinup project and on the history of Pinups book, uh, that's the reason why I visited you here today yes, thank you. Um, to, uh, to to create the the, the famous uh, riding the bombshell girl. That means that the girl yeah. who's riding the bombshell as a sculpture, maybe maybe like 25 centimeter or 15 to 25 yes, centimeter it's, size it's, like this. It's a nice shelf for the shelves. It's a nice size. Yeah, and not so mm -hmm. not so kinky like this. It has to be fit for the uh, um, oh, living room. Yeah, yeah chairs it, it also. needs to fit in the living room, yes. right? But with a with a nice uh, with a nice uh, uh, it would be a nice thing to have this this girl riding on this on this bombshell. It's a three dimensional sculpture. Mm -hmm. And this is this idea. This is what I'm making this video about. So we 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 have heavyweight. Bronx style. This is not real Bronx. It's a Bronx style. Uh, heavy, heavyweight, cool, nice made uh, uh, sculptures. And he's creating different, many, many different styles. So, and I, I would show you in the, in this video, uh, uh, different ones. And, and everybody knows this here. You know, this is this is quite famous. Uh, you get this in many, many different, uh, many different styles. The typical, uh, I don't know, how, how often we have seen uh, the girl riding uh, uh, the bombshell in, in pinup related art. So, uh, you can't see it often enough. So, it's, it might be the, uh, the most known or the most used or the most liked uh, 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 pinup choreography. The, the girl riding the bombshell. So it's uh, maybe it's because it's related to the uh, Second World War when the uh, the army guys had this girl on their on their planes and it's to to uh, make it more nice to look to make it look nice and the magazines were doing this as well. So uh, to, to to in order to make the war sexy maybe somehow I don't know. Um, and we just had the idea to say, okay, we make a sculpture dedicated to this special, this kind of pinup art. And I was talking with Scott about this, so we, I made an interview with him, and uh, then we, we said, okay, how, how can we get this sculpture done? We, we have from, this was made by, this is made by Paul Ballard, and I also called Paul, and Paul is uh, supporting us, and we, we make a, three artists collaboration this time. That means we have uh, the uh, sculpture Len Gifford from also a London based artist who makes great sculptures and uh, Paul is making the, the sketches for, for, for the, the, the girl riding the bombshell. Len will do the castings together with Paul and then the Fine Arts Exclusive Wunko Tour, Fine Arts Wunko Tour from Frankfurt, they will produce the final, uh, the final sculptures. As a limited edition, signed, signed by uh, Paul Champalat and Len Gifford. So we have got two artists and one great production company producing the sculptures and 
I'm really sorry, I can't right now, I can't show you how it looks like. We don't have a 3D model or something. You just need to use your imagination and, and think what if we are talking about something like this, what about 25 to 35 centimeter high, heavyweight, sexy girl, like on this t-shirt here, riding the bombshell as a limited edition sculpture. We, we think we're going to produce 250 250 units, that's it, and then uh, just because we can, just we have the artists, they are crazy about this idea, Len uh, Gifford is a great, he's, he, he is very well known for his love for the details, so it, I think it gets lots of small little tiny details in the, in the bomb and on the girl, in the hair and everything. So. Yeah, these are the small ones, the, the, the ones I'm doing now are with a hope, because I've got a model uh, called Em, who is an aerialist, and she does all this work, and the ones in the window as well. Turn around. And she can actually get into these positions. So you're making a photograph of her? Uh, yes, photograph, and then measurements. I take detailed measurements of her. Because I used to be an engineer, I tend to approach sculpture as uh, very geometrically. So I take a lot of measurements of the models and, um, and lots of photographs from all directions. So I'll take a photograph every, every way around. No, I, I usually start with an armature, which is a, a wire that is inside. Yeah. And then I put the, the, the wax or the clay on the armature and it builds it up. It must take hours to... It does, yes. It takes a lot of, lot of time. But the thing is, once you've got the piece, you can then make a mould of it, a silicon rubber mould, and then you can turn out a lot of them. So the amount of time it takes originally to do it is counteracted by the time that you can sell it lots of times, you know. So, um... This will be, I think it will be a, a great, great project. And we need your support. We need, we need, uh, we, we can't, we, we can't handle the risk of, of, of creating different molds. Uh, it's, it's, it's hell of a work. And the fine arts moon culture said it's, uh, it's crazy to, to, to do, to, to do this just on, just for the fun. He's doing this together with the fine arts moon culture is producing this together in collaboration with the artist. That means if the artist has an idea, can come here and, and you are creating then the, 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 the sculpture itself together with... with yes, the we, we, we are the foundry, you know, and we do uh, the artist and we will do from the artwork of the artist, we will do the silicone mold and we will do <coughs> the welding and then we will do the, uh, the bronze sculpture in raw material and when Finally, it will be polished and grinded. <clears throat> it become a shining, a very nice masterpiece of art. But this is a long procedure, which takes for life-size sculptures sometimes this, two to three months. This was by Paul. <clears throat> this is from Paul Ballard. This is one of his masterpieces. It's a wonderful bondage, a devout lady. She is really. Um, Devout and her head is down, and her very sexy body so, is very attractive. Attractive anybody. So that's 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 for mm -hmm. people who like uh, are into bondage and fetish. Um, yeah, but we have the same sculpture without bondage string. Just well, only a lot of work. It's made. It's handmade. The whole uh, bondage, the whole uh, knots, everything. The rope is is is. Uh, it's a, it, you have to yeah. be very talented to it. Yeah, the green patina or any color can be done, it can be silver plated, can be really gold, hard gold plated. Can, this is any color is possible but to how do. How much effort is it to create this sculpture? To create, we have, we have just a sketch from Paul now. Yes. And, and, and what needs to be done to, and to get this? To concerning get this. the sketch. Um, and maybe if you're interested on, you can pre-order this. We uh, we will take hundred sculptures, limited, as pre-order, 
to finance the whole project. So that means you get a very special prize from us and you get it first and you get it signed and with certificate by Lengifort and Paul John Ballard. And at the same time you're supporting the artists in their work as well because they have, they have their sh shares on every sold item and this is, this is the way we, we, we want to do this. So it's a, it's a three, three company collaboration of Fine Arts Wunkultur, Len Gifford, Sculpture and Paul John Ballard as designer. So uh, please guys, give it a go.